What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome home! <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to a... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it's a new series. I, I don't know, I'm just putting it out there. Like, this is, this is like the pilot episode. I don't know if we're gonna get too far deep into this, but this is a new ARG. So, for context, usually I do FNAF-style content, so I like to analyse the games and do theories and video essays on Five Nights at Freddy's. But today, I, I saw this, and people told me it was an ARG, and it instantly got my interest, and so we're going to be looking into Welcome Home ARG today and see what it's all about, see if there's anything cool happening, uh, and if there's more things to, to dive deep into. But uh, it looks very interesting. The reason I, like, like, the first place I saw this was actually Twitter. I saw so much fan art of this guy, whoever this guy is, and I was like, is this from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? I don't remember seeing it on the TV show. Um, so, yeah, apparently this is an ARG, and I'm really, really excited to get into this because I really love the aesthetic straight away. So, it's called Welcome Home. The uh, website is, I don't think you can see it, it's called clownillustration.com slash welcome home you. Um, and apparently it all takes place on this one website, or at least uh, that's what I've heard. Uh, but maybe we'll get a video series in the future, or uh, or like a game or something, that would be pretty cool. But, um, like, today I, I think what I want to do is I just want to do kind of like a brief introduction on what this is, because this is my first time looking at it as well. I don't know any of the characters, I don't know what this is actually about, I don't know the deeper story. Uh, and so I kind of want to see if I can find secrets, um, and kind of decode it all myself. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to go through everything in this video, of course, because I don't know all the secrets. <laughs> so how would I be able to find everything? Or how would I even know that I found everything? So, uh, again, like, I don't know how deep this goes as well. So it's going to be interesting to see this. We're going to find some things, hopefully, uh, and we're going to have a joy doing it. So first of all, this is like the the welcome page, right? Um, so we have we have like welcome stuff. So what I'm noticing already is we got tic-tac-toe over here and it looks like crosses has won. I, again, I don't know how deep to go into this. I don't know how to, how much to look into it, but I am a FNAF fan. So uh, I am going to be analyzing every little detail maybe, possibly. Uh, so we're sitting under a tree on a, on a strange rock. Uh, oh, okay. So it's a strange rock that has not only tic-tac-toe over here where cross is winning, uh, and it looks like there's like a heart here in the in the art. Uh, there's also an eyeball, or or just an eye. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, I'm just like looking around the side and stuff. It's pretty cool. I I love the aesthetic of this. I love the, I love the character design. The character design is amazing. Um, nice little houses in the back. This house. I think it's an all. Like, are those eyes? I don't know if I can't tell if those are eyes or if it's just like the curvature of the window or a curtain or something, but they look a little bit like eyes to me. So yeah, and this is very strange too. I guess it's like a handprint. I don't think it's a handprint, but it's got the colors of the, the trousers that he's wearing. Cool, okay, let's not spend too much time looking at one image because uh, there's a lot to go through as we can see over here. With a hop, skip, and a jump, you are ushered into the colourful, serendipitous world of Welcome Home. It only takes one stroll down the neighbourhood to know that this is the nicest little place you've ever seen. Watch Wally. Okay, so this guy's Wally, I think, probably. And his colourful array of friendly neighbours learn about the vibrant world around them and take part in nonsensical fun. Welcome to the Welcome Home website. Feel free to explore our humble homepage and learn more about a puppet show now, Lost to Obscurity. Thank you for visiting. Okay, we, we need to learn more about this puppet show. I'm assuming this is like, um, this is probably like a lost media sort of thing. Oh, but I should probably go through what an ARG is. An ARG is an alternate reality game. And so it's essentially like, there's loads of clues around, like somebody put loads, puts loads of clues around and websites and in games, like I said, and video series. And it all kind of makes this one story that seems quite like real. Uh, but also scary and deeper than, like, it first appears. It's essentially like a puzzle game, but it's happening in our reality, but also not in our reality. I don't know how to describe it, but you probably know what an ARG is anyway. Um, 
Okay, so Puppet Show now lost to Obscurity. We need to keep that in mind. Um, welcome home, neighbour. We'd like to wish you all a happy Mail in Time Day. Always remember that. Uh, always remember to love your fellow neighbour and remind them that you care with a heart-shaped heart or even a nice homemade cookie. We all know Eddie would appreciate you spreading the love. We're also happy to announce a very exciting collaboration with known museum creator uh, Question Answerer to help spread the word of Welcome Home's existence. Head down to the news page to find out more. Okay, and the Welcome Home restoration team. Okay, so it seems like it is kind of lost media getting restored. Um, that's what I'm get getting from it anyway. Um, and it seems to have been a puppet show or something, so maybe like a TV show from 1970s, possibly? 1980s? It, the colours are kind of giving me that vibe. I don't really know if that's... I wasn't born then, so... Um, so there we go. And then, what is this number? That's going to come important some in some point at some point in this. 2527997. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Unless this takes place on the 25th of February, 7997. Uh, I've got nothing. This is really cute art. Again, I love the aesthetic. This bird is my favourite. Actually, no, the sun is my favourite. It reminds me of the sun from Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. So that's cool. Um, I don't think there's much here. So where should we go first? I guess we should just go on each one, one by one. So welcome home. Okay. This house seems to be really important. I guess it's just the logo of, like, Welcome Home. The neighbourhood... Oh, no, never mind. Critically praised and financially successful, Welcome Home dominated its Saturday morning time slot with its colourful cast of puppets, entertaining and addictive stories, and lively sets unlike anything seen before. Surely a spectacle for audience of all ages. Okay. This is cute. This is a really well-developed website, by the way. I like this. Welcome Home was an American children's television program created and produced by the Playfellow Workshop, which served as the studio's only production. Supposedly, its first episode aired on October 11th, 1969, and was broadcast onto an unknown channel until its estimated last air date sometime in 1974. Okay, there we go. So it is 1970s. I was right about the aesthetic. They have got the aesthetic very well done then. Uh, I feel like these kind of colours, like Flower Power, was that 1970s? I feel like Flower Power was kind of 1970s, right? Kind of hippie. Um, does this guy have four hands? <laughs> that guy has four hands. There's beans in the background, cereal, salt. Cool. Okay, so this guy's a shopkeeper. Uh, Welcome Home primarily focused on the neighbours, the show's inhabitants, who were accompanied by a mixture of animated breaks and illustrated storybook segments. The setting itself was a colourful and exaggeratedly designed town named Home, oh, with unique elements like a post office and a bodega, I don't know what that is, as well as brightly coloured creatures that lived within it. Episodes usually began with Wally introducing the focus or theme for the day before coming across other characters who would join him on his escapades until the end of the day, which would signify the end of the show. All the characters had notable recurring segments that were sprinkled throughout the entirety of the show's run, such as Eddie Deer creating arts and crafts, Sally Starlet performing plays, or Wally Darling painting a picture with the help of other members of the cast. The viewer was often regarded as an additional neighbour, with Wally speaking to them on a regular basis. Something I'm noticing right here. Like, this is really cute. This is really cute. It's kind of giving me DHMA. Why am I spelling out the acronym? It's kind of giving me Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared vibes uh, with, like, the puppet show. Um, that was kind of aired for a, for a little bit and then probably taken down. I don't know. I'm also noticing these letters. So, on the first page, we had a, a, a Y, I believe. Uh, we can go back, actually. We have time. There's a Y here. That seems really out of place. Of course, like, that's very obvious. Oh! Ah! So, there's there's white. There's a white Y, and then the Y is coming out of... It looks like it's coming out of the page. Strange. Oh, so we're going to have to look out for... Invisible text, probably. That's a good way. That's a really good way to hide things. Invisible text. So I imagine that might be a thing. We'll have to look out. I, I probably not, but um, okay. So we got a Y and a W. So it might spell out something. Okay. So this is a poster. This is really cute. Uh, welcome home disc. 
Yeah, it looks like it has eyes, right? The house has eyes. That's strange. Is it a living house? See them take a life of their own in Welcome Home. Oh, I'm getting some common themes with FNAF and Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. An unfamiliar neighbour is just a friend you haven't met yet, and the world of Welcome Home has plenty of new faces to get acquainted with. Colourful characters like Wally, Julie, Barnaby, and... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was missing out a character, but no, it's just it's just basic grammar ozone. Invite them to your family home with toys that will last a lifetime. Sally Starlet and Eddie Bear can be played f with for hours. Seven inch home is a darling house fit for the most da darling neighbor. One of eight houses. Okay, there's a lot of details going on here. I'm not going to go through everything today, as I said. Uh, Eddie, we need to get down to business. Wow, this is really cool. I love seeing this. What is that? Is that a signature? Probably. We'll be right back. Oh, wow. It's giving me kind of Looney Tunes vibes, I guess. Is that snowman made out of food? <laughs> I hope so. Um, why is there one in colour and one in black and white? Is there a difference? That's That would be a good one to do. That would be something good to as like a puzzle to have like spot the difference and then there's something going on. I don't think there's any differences. So my question is like why would they put a regular colour one and why would they put one in monotone? Interesting. Um, play fellow workshop. Okay, that was something that we heard before, wasn't it? Play fellow workshop. This guy looks very grumpy. Um... May I ask for some wisdom of Wally's on this fine day? A voice rang out through home. Wally looked up from his painting. Yes, Wally replied. I hope that helped. This is so cute. Puppet hand. So is this a is this like a, a book? Like an official book? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, seems to be more. It's on the house for you, Valentine. Cute. Okay, this guy does have four hands. Strange. I'm over the stars for you, and maybe the moon too. I'm getting some tarot card vibes. Sun and moon. Right? Those are tarot cards. Interesting. I'd we I'd weather any weather for you, Valentine. What? What is this? You're a hairdo, Valentine. Okay. You're quite the catch, Valentine. <laughs> oh, wow. It's giving me, um... Sesame Street vibes as well. There he is. That's a... That, did he just blink? Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> what is this? What What the hell have you cooked? <laughs> what on earth? Okay. Wow, he's lying in cake. That's disturbing. How many images are there? Oh my gosh. Okay. How Barnaby holds a cup. Wally determination. What? I'm a little bit confused, I'll be honest. <laughs> Frowning is easy, see? Maybe for you, but not for me. This is really well developed, like... You can tell they spent a lot of time doing this. Oh! So it does have eyes. It is a living house. Oh no, these are just... Wait, no, no, it does have eyes. It has to have eyes. This is not just an aesthetic, right? I don't know. I, I'm a bit confused with the house thing. <laughs> I think I'm thinking too hard about it. How many images are there? There's so many. Okay, we're going to move on. Um, maybe in, a, in another video we can go through all of these and see if there's anything in them. But pretty cool, pretty cool. Welcome Home is believed to have had four years uh, upon further research with this blah, 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 blah. The playthrough of Velo Workshop, Welcome Home Success, Stone, um, blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I have I have read that. I, I just kind of skimmed through that. Okay, so read more about our journey and how we are uncovering this long forgotten puppet show and our mission at the Welcome Home Restoration Project About Us page. Sure thing. Um About Us. So, the Welcome Home Restoration Project is a team of anonymous individuals dedicated to compiling, restoring, and archiving what few remnants of Welcome Home have been uncovered. 
Cool, we got that right. It is through these collective efforts that we will be that we will awaken the memory of this lost piece of media. We strive to establish a friendly and open community of friends, family, and fans, just like the colourful and quaint neighbours in our beloved home. Cute. Love is a, is clear in the messages of Wally Darling and is as much of a hallmark to him as his charismatic smile, his cheery disposition, and his eagerness to understand the world around him. We too hope to spread this feeling of everlasting joy, caring, understanding, and acceptance in the hopes that you will join us in our through thorough expo exploration. Uh, together we will make this house a home. Visitors may wonder how we came to uncover such a show, where we attained these works and the efforts taken to restore them to the best of our ability. To that we owe, we our, to that we our happy, we our happy to open our front door to you, neighbour. I think that's supposed to say R. Maybe we'll keep that in mind as well. We've got an FAQ, frequently asked questions here. Oh, it's gonna get dark. Okay, <laughs> who are you? For some reason. Oh, sorry. For personal reason, our small collective at the WHRP team have agreed to, upon staying anonymous for our own safety and security. Oh, that's a bit sus. That's a bit sus, right? What are they doing? Why are they staying anonymous? More than that, however, we wanted to make uh, we wanted make the recovery of Welcome Home our number one priority and wanted it to be the full focus of this website. Are there going to be missing words that spell out a sentence? To that. We are, are happy, and then we have two, are two, no, I don't know. <laughs> How did you begin your research into Welcome Home? To be honest, we were drawn in unexpectedly. What? Um, drawn in unexpectedly, that's weird. All the information found on this website was extracted from documents that had been uncovered in brightly coloured envelopes. Oh, that's creepy. We are thankful to be the first to jump to start this journey. So it seems like they they weren't motivated, like their motivation isn't to recover these lo this lost media. It seems like there's a third party coming in and throwing them these envelopes and they're like, we've got to recover this media. So who is the third party here, right? That's a good question. Uh, colourful envelopes, sentient puppets. <laughs> I, I don't. Yeah, I'm not going to make any assumptions. Um, what do the illustrations, writings, and advertisements look like when you receive them? All of the paper materials tucked away inside the envelopes we have received are usually crammed together and covered in paint and ink. Despite this, the volunteers have both restored and recreated what is m what most of what was found on the documents below as an example of our work. Uh, as we extract information from the original document and translate it into a digital state. This is really cool. This is really cool. Original piece, puppet hand. Oh no, that's not puppet hand. That's just a glove. It's a blue glove, blue rubber glove. Uh, oh, I don't even think it's rubber, it's latex, right? No, I don't know. I have no idea. Can't be latex, surely. I don't know. Um, <laughs> fully restored by our team with a slight alterations to the original. Okay, I see, I see there are like tiny alterations, which is really cool. Uh, for example, like this is a lot bigger than, than that, I'm noticing, but doesn't matter. Uh, the, the colors of paint as well are, are matching Wally, just saying. Um, our volunteers have also produced speculative pieces from the information gathered, such as Frank's spinning head, Eddie's removable hat, and the heart marks on the bottom of Wally's shoes. So Wally seems to be associated with the hearts, because I've seen quite a few hearts already. We hope more fan interpretations will be able to revise just like this. This is a great animation, love it. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, firstly, I wanna like, I wanna know if there's hidden text. There's, oh God, okay. Okay, there must be hidden, oh, I think I just saw some, okay. <gasps> oh, I was right. Okay, I love this. I'm, 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 I'm so intelligent. Honestly, no, I'm, I think I just have like a mind for this. I, I feel like I know where the clues are gonna be. We are thankful to be the first to jumpstart this journey, but it hurts. What does that mean? Are they possessed? I'm thinking a sort of glitch trap situation here. <laughs> Right? Hmm, and who is writing this text? Who is altering the website? That is 
interesting. Um, let's just see if there's any here. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay, so we, we I'll, I'll go over this text in a minute because it seems like there's something here as well. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we can't really read that very well. Many of our guest book signatures have talked about seeing this show before, so this is a good sign. I mean, it is inside of you too, then. Does it hurt? Oh. So, it is inside of you too. What, are that, what is that talking about? This is a good sign. It means it is inside of you too. I feel like there is some sort of possession somehow, and that's why they're remaining anonymous. Uh, that is why, you know, they received these envelopes and suddenly they have this motivation to bring these characters back to life. Uh, and that's why it hurts. <laughs> um, I, I think that's quite a good theory. Um, just kind of coming straight off the bat. I mean, I've only been here for like 10, 20 minutes, right? Um, so my theories aren't going to be correct at all in any way. Uh, but I'm just throwing ideas out there. I feel like there's some sort of kind of like hypnotism, possession... Something like that going on, right? There has to be something behind the scenes. Um, let's just quickly read this. It is only speculation, but from what we've gathered, there is a possibility that there are vinyl records, children's toys, and a plethora of other merchandise that could be ordered through various magazines. Someone thinks there are patterns to make your own Barnaby. Could you imagine? It's a weird thing to say. Unfortunately, uh, sorry, do you know how many episodes of Welcome Home there are? Unfortunately, no. We have yet to receive footage from the show, nor a full catalogue of all the episodes. We have estimated that the last air date for the show was in 1974, but only because it is the most recent date listed on a script. The numbers are so hard to read. Sometimes I can't see them. Huh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. And, like, my other question here is, like, why did the show stop? Why was the franchise pulled to a stop in 1974? Because, like, they wouldn't just run it for four years, right? It seems like it, it was a very well-developed show and stuff. So why would they why would they only spend four years on it? Why would they suddenly completely stop production of it? There has to be a reason, and I feel like that's going to be key to solving this story. Um, so that's interesting as well. Do you know anyone who worked at the Play Fellow Workshop or are you a former employee? No, and I am not affiliated with the company, but we know of Ronald Doralane. He must be the creator. We will find the other names too. Are we able to join your team? At the moment, we aren't accepting new members. Who is your favourite resident? Everyone on our team has their favourite, but if you ask me, mine is Wally Darling. He is the most, as he would say. Interesting that they're not accepting new members. That must mean that there's something going on on the inside, okay? That's, I, I feel like that's kind of confirmation that there's something going on on the inside that we don't know about from the outside. That's why there's someone writing these weird, like, white texts on this website. Because someone is kind of, like, trying to communicate with the outside when they're actually on the inside. They're possessed by something or it's a cult or something. I don't know. Um, so that's interesting to me that they aren't accepting new members. Let's go back up to this text and see if we can read it somehow. Um, when I unwrapped the first letter, I felt it. I heard it. Open, open, open. I want it out. I'm going to get it out. Oh. So it has to be, right? There has to be some sort of other force that is telling this person to open the letter. Interesting stuff. I like this a lot. Um, I feel like I am probably missing a lot of things. Um, but, you know, we continue. We continue. There's a lot of eyes. There's a lot and a lot of eye imagery. That's very... I I'm curious about that. Okay, so where does this take us? This takes us back here. Okay, yeah. Cool. So now we want to go to the neighborhood. Home is where the heart... Oh my god, this is so cool. Home is where the heart is, and Welcome Home's residents are the heart of the neighborhood. Even if you don't live there, you're still one of uh, its most important denizens. But don't worry, with the help of this colorful array of neighbors, it'll feel just like a home in no time at all. Yep, eyes. Definitely eyes. Oh my... That's so creepy. 
It's so creepy. Okay. Um, oh, please note. This information is pulled from remnants found in illustrated pages and old merchandise. Information is subject to change and expand upon expand sorry upon discovering new findings. There's an X. There is a hidden or not a hidden X, but there's a, there's an X. So we have what were the first two? <laughs> Are you a Y, a W, and an X? That's not going to spell a word. There's no wait. W X Y Z. Ooh. I have no idea why that would matter, but alphabet, alphabet. All right, so it looks like we have an interactive map of the neighborhood. That's so cool. That's actually sick. So, okay, there's gonna be a lot of secrets here, isn't there? So I'm assuming, okay, we're gonna test this out in a second, but I'm assuming you're gonna be able to click on each house and it's gonna tell you information about the house and the characters that live in the house. Only thing is, if you guys have played like Club Penguin, you would know about the iceberg in Club Penguin. And that wasn't like a selectable, that it, like it didn't outline a selection when you went to the iceberg. It was like y your mouse changed into like the point, the, yeah, you know what I mean. The mouse changed so you could see there was something there and you could click on it and then it would take you to the iceberg, but it wasn't like a designated location. So I'm assuming there's gonna be mini Easter eggs here or something I'm gonna have to click and it will take me somewhere I'm not supposed to be or something like that. That's my theory, but I don't know where that's gonna be because by the looks of things, this is pretty set in stone. It's pretty straightforward, but you know, let's go to the eyeball house first. So we got Wally. This is so amazing. So he's a painter. Okay. Wally Darling is the friendliest neighbor in Welcome Home. Perhaps even the best painter too. With a smile like his, it's hard to disagree. Always eager to make new friends and show them around the neighborhood. Wally is happy to lend a helping hand. But you knew that already, didn't you? No. <laughs> uh, Wally is the most prominent character in Welcome Home as he is often the focus of the merchandise, advertising and present in every book and episode. His segments were focused on drawing and painting with viewers. Barnaby was often depicted alongside him. Um... Okay, hearts and hearts on the soles of the shoes and paws. Uh, a notable characteristic of Wally is his house named Home. Home is regarded as the ninth neighbour, but seemingly cannot speak, as illustrations show Home speaking only in onomatopoeias. Creak, squeak, bang. Cool. Uh, the puppet's eyes could move through a hand crank on the other side of the prop facing away from the camera. Additionally, its doors, chimney and windows were supposedly very animated during episodes. It is implied that home is the most lively house within the neighborhood as none of the other houses seem to have eyes. Okay, so home seems like the center of this entire thing, quite literally. Um, why is the house sentient? I mean, I guess it's just children's like content, right? It, it, it's just like, that's how it is. <laughs> you don't You don't question children's things. I'm wondering if like I can click like the things on the ground, maybe not. Okay, it just seems like there's a lot of detail here, which which is great. I'm just wondering if there's anything else here. Um, so let's just quickly run through the characters. I'm probably not gonna read the full descriptions of them because I doubt there's anything actually hidden in these. Um, uh, so we got Julie with a paddle ball. Uh, Sally, okay, this is Sally. Oh, oh, that's cute. That's actually really cute. Okay, I like this. We're getting good context here, and this is a really like interactive way to do it. We got Poppy. Okay, I'm, I I I want to get to more things, so I'm actually not going to go through all of them. Uh, but this is Eddie. Okay, so we got Eddie the postman. Um, we have. Oh, is this a shop? Oh, this is the four-handed guy, right? Howdy. Okay, he's literally called Howdy. Okay, cool name. Uh, nice. A hundred percent off. Wait, the food is a hundred percent off. That's actually funny. That's actually hilarious. Okay, we got like a dog. Barnaby. Okay, this is Barnaby. I just want to know the names, you know, like it's it's nice when you actually know the names of the characters. Uh, and then we got Frank finally, and he's the he's the guy who's always mad and spins his head around. Uh, arguably the smartest neighbor in Welcome Home, though. Uh, and is connected to butterflies. We should probably remember that. Okay, 
Is there something secret here? I feel like there must be. There has to be something else here. Why else would they have this page? I mean, I guess they have this page because we need to know about the characters and there's like no other way to really do it. I'm gonna have a look, like, I'm gonna have like a really brief, like, look and see if I can click something that would take me somewhere else. So I will, I'll, I'll, I'll come back if I find something or if I find nothing. Ooh. Okay. Um. That's a weird place for the mouse. Because that is not on a house, technically. So is this going to take me to the house or is it just, is it like a secret? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck? What the absolute heck? Okay. Wow, that got dark so quick. Um... I'm so glad I found that. <laughs> I am so glad that I found that. That was a... That was a weird place to put it. I guess it does make sense because that's the house I and we and I clicked on like the the pathway outside. Is there something like am I if I inspect element? Um, how do I open the source code? Actually, I want to know. I want to do the source code. Oh, it's Option Command U. Option Command U. Um, okay. I, I, I don't think there is anything here. Business manager? I don't... Oh, okay. Wait. Copyright the Polymer Project Authors. What is that? I, I might be looking too deep into this. We don't know if we need to go into the source code or anything. There's a lot here, though. Okay. I mean, it is web a, a website, you know. It was made on Wix. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. So I don't think there's much else there. It's just a very creepy animation and that I mean that is super creepy like wow <laughs> that took me wow <laughs> um, Okay, and 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 this it's called so below So below That's a weird name. What does that mean? Is this like a house from from heck <laughs> from hell? The, the red is really signifying blood Hmm but also, like, Wally isn't even, like, fully physical. Like, he, he's just, like, a line art. That's weird, okay? that That's a weird secret that we found. I'm so glad that I found that, though. It doesn't seem like there's any uh, anything else, but I'm going to have one last, like, click around and see if there is actually uh, anything else here hidden. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else, uh, which is completely fair. But that was a really cool secret, and that is probably going on the thumbnail, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, okay, so let's go back to this page and then let's go to About Us. Uh, we have already done that. Of course we have. So news is the next one. Um, that's that's a cool like logo thing. Oh, this is so cute. Latest headlines uh, and updates for welcome home. Okay, there we go. Lots of love neighbours. Um... I, I, again, if if we want to do another video on this or like a whole series on this, we can go through things in more depth. But today, I think I just kind of want to see what this is all about. And I don't really want to go too deep into this news lore. So that is such a cute photo, man. Okay. And it looks like this is taking place in 2023. So this is cool um, that, that they're actually updating it like in real time. Uh, this is a 2023 project. That is trying to revive something from the 1970s. Very cool. Um, we've done about us. Guest book. What is guest book? Thank you for visiting our home. Take your time signing our guest book and have a wonderful day. Please do not send personal information. Our messages are screened before they are posted. Oh. Visit our guest. Okay. So my first name is Ozone. Uh, and what should my comment be? What what should my comment be? Okay, um... Hello, Glitchtrap. I know you're 
there. Winky face. Send. What's it going to do? Oh, that's really cute. Thank you, neighbor. We'll make sure it's delivered. This is a really cute website. Wait, so... Okay, I actually don't think that did anything. I think I accidentally submitted that to the actual creators of the website. Oh, oh no. If you got that, creators, I am so sorry that I sent you a message saying um, that you are possessed by Glitchtrap. Anyway, visit our guest book. Oh, this is going to be... Oh my god, this is going to be full. There's multiple pages? This is cute. Oh. There's our there's our tic tac toe. Is that gonna be useful to us? Hmm. Okay. Um this is gonna be full of things. Unless these are actually Are these actually like real? Wait, is mine here? Is mine here? That's that's the question. Ozone. Okay, mine isn't here. Ball pit. Huge fan of the vibe of Welcome Home. So delighted to see this website. Where am I? What is going on? Like, is this... It? Okay, the thing is, are these real? Or are these... I, I can't tell if these are real. Are they going to be different if we reload them? Fig peach scone. Fig peach scone. Hmm. So it seems like these are all actually but... <laughs> what? What is Rogers? That's funny. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> it's, it's obvious like these are created by the creators. Like this is it, all intentional stuff. So what's the deal with this? There has to be a secret somewhere. And I'm thinking it's going to be part of... Oh, oops, I accidentally opened the dictionary. It's going to be part of the white text stuff, definitely. Um, so, oh, where am I? No, you're telling me there's no white text in where am I? Okay, there we go, that's good. Any text, anything, please, something. There's no way there isn't white text here, somewhere. Maybe not. I'm actually, I'm, I'm confused now. I'm really confused if this is real or not. I think it, I, I think it's fake. I, I do think this was created. There's like, seriously, there's so many pages. What on earth? Are these... White text. Oh! No, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Did you see it? Did you see it? There was white text. <gasps> Wally, you won't write back. Wally, you're looking for me. Silly, silly. So Wally... Why is Wally talking to us? So, I have a feeling there's a lot of, there's, like, as I say, we're running with the idea of the possession of the company or something. That's why there aren't new members and that's why everything's going on in the inside. So there's some sort of possession or some sort of force that's making these people do what they're doing, creating this website, etc. Is that connected to Wally? So, like, is Wally now sentient in the real world? and kind of making these people do this and like restore his show or something like that i don't know there's something going on here and i don't like it um there has to be more here there's there's definitely more to the guest book i'm telling you there's so much to go through with the guest book it's crazy so the final thing i think is the links uh spread the word Oh, it's so cute, man. Oh, it's so cute. Spread the good word about Welcome Home with these fun banners. There's no place like Home Neighbor. Well, I will. I'll probably use one of these in the thumbnail. 
Anyway, I think that is it for our first kind of like, first kind of dive into Welcome Home and what Welcome Home is. Very, very interesting. I do want to go further into this because as I say, like I feel like this picture actually sums a lot of it up. It's about Wally, okay? It's about Wally. It's clearly a 1970s show. There's something going on with a tic-tac-toe. There's something going on with the eyes. Just saying. Um, and, you know, I don't know what's going on here, but it's so, so interesting to me, and I really want to dive into this further. So let me know if you enjoyed this. Leave a like on the video uh, and subscribe so you can see if I do do any more videos on this. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.